Hurricane Camille slammed the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And it was the last time a Category 5 hurricane hit the state. 16 WAPT's Case was there that night. Bert? It's as if it were yesterday yeah. to me. I, I remember it. It was a very poignant memory. We first learned how severe Camille was going to be that Sunday afternoon, August the 17th, with a 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Back then, the first reports said the storm had winds of 190 miles per hour. The 7 a.m. bulletin from the Weather Bureau. Camille, a small but extremely dangerous storm, is now shifting westward. Hurricane Camille devastated the west end of Cuba before it headed directly for Gulfport, Mississippi. Most people took the warning seriously, but there were some who decided to stay. No, we're not getting out. Wade Geis was the civil defense director in Harrison County. He went door to door urging people to leave. Geis told me 10 years later that Camille smashed all the official wind gauges, but a ship captain in Gulfport had a wind gauge which measured Camille at 238 miles per hour. It's bound to be in here somewhere because all these are the houses that came from in this vicinity. They're all right in here in this neighborhood. But mine was right on the corner, not on any of the steps. Yonder! <laughs> 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 that yonder, that smile. <laughs> Camille destroyed virtually everything south of the Louisville and Nashville railroad tracks. The official death toll on the Mississippi coast was put at 143, but the storm killed over 250 when it went all the way to Virginia before going back out to sea. Camille's devastation started with the Ocean Springs Bridge and went west for 50 miles to the mouth of the Pearl River. I thought many times that night that I would not live to tell the story. I thought about tying myself to a tree in front of the old Buena Vista Hotel. But my photographer, Bob Bullock, talked me out of that, saying I would drown. And I said, you're crazy. <laughs> because I knew that when that water started coming up, that it was, that was going to get that tree. And that I would, I had enough problems down there without losing you. <laughs> Hurricane Camille twisted the eagle on top of the Capitol building. It still had 90 mile an hour winds when it got to Jackson. With almost 50 years now of doing broadcast news, it's still the most memorable, biggest story I have ever covered. And based on that video, I can see why. It was well, we, awesome. Oh,